Good morning. It is Monday, and we are going to have another great day of pressure washing for you. Going to be downstreaming all day long. And if we run into any tough stuff, we're going to use that new proportioner. I used it yesterday. It worked out great. Uh, did did one side of this roof right here. We'll look at it here in just a second. Anyway, the first job is going to be a house wash this morning. Then I have another house wash after that, and then I have a vinyl fence to clean for the uh, ending of the day, which will be an easy job. Went by, I looked at it yesterday, and quoted on their roof, which uh, roofs are very expensive, so they're going to go ahead and hold off on cleaning their roof for right now. With the rigs all ready to go, it is going to be in the 80s today, so. We are iced up and ready for some hydration. Anyway, the roof came out really nice on this side. I don't know if you can see it from here. It's looking spiffy. Nice and clean. I'm very happy with the setup. I learned a little bit more about the setup <clears throat> with some comments. So there's a couple things that I really need to understand about this. So I'll ask the question now. Okay, the water's on 100%. And if I turn the, the chlorine on, the SH 100%, that's going to give me 6.25% strength, correct? So, if I was to set the water on 100% and set the SH on 50%, does that give me a 3% mix? Answer the questions in the comments. And, uh... I'm going to be doing some more research on how to operate this stuff. Obviously, I did it a little wrong yesterday. 50% water, 50% uh, SH. I should have just left the water on 100% and the SH on 100%. And then maybe added maybe just a little bit of soap. I noticed I had my soap dialed at 20%. I need to wear my damn glasses, I guess. <laughs> it's that old age creeping up on me. All right, let's get the day started and get after it. Well, 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 it is Monday. There's the job. See all those cars? Went to the front door. They got two big Great Danes in there barking their heads off. I've been sitting out here for, what, five minutes now? And nobody's coming to the door, so. And this, I've done this house before. Very, very rude. Off to the next one. Let's get after it. All right, here we are at job number one, which is really job number two, but job number one didn't happen. So there you have it. Anyway, we got this driveway to get cleaned up. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Should clean up good. The gutters are dirty. Should clean up really good. This walkway's got some mold on them. Uh, the front of the house is all moldy. Got some big wasp nests over here. Let's check it out. This place is going to clean up nice now. We'll get the turbo tip and get the uh, weeds out of here. We have the bees nest up there. Those two are dead. There's one lone wasp on that one. There's another one over there. Anyway, we're doing three sides. We'll come down this side here. The windowsills have uh, a lot of green mold. This is going to be a downstreamer though. The only place I see there'll be a problem is on the other side of the house. This is this dirty stuff. See how that black stuff up there? That'll come right off. We'll do a real time downstream of this on this side over here. All right, now let's go uh, check out our setup and how to set up downstreaming. Tell you what, I learned a lot about uh, proportioners this morning. So yesterday when I was filming my thing, demonstration of it I didn't know what the hell I was talking about so I just said everything all wrong now I know exactly how to operate it and we'll go over that a little bit later all right right now we're gonna do downstream talk okay here we go this is your loader this is what you'll see four gallon a minute machine or if you have a loader you got to hook it up to there okay I always keep the downstream injector in a bucket of water which, by the way, needs to be clean today. Anyway, keep it in the water. Keeps it from sticking and corroding in there over the weekend. 
while it's sitting in your garage somewhere. Okay, I peeled off 150 feet for this job. I think that's all we're going to need. Plug that into the injector, okay? Uh, my tanks are over here. So I got to run this over the other side. Okay, note. I have a tube. This usually has a screen on it at the end. But it's eaten away. But, I, but it still gets the SH up through there. Uh, they have a metal thing on there. You don't want to ever keep metal hanging down in your SH. It, uh, it has a reaction to it of some sort. It's not good. I always drill a hole through the tube and through the hose. So in case this piece right here comes off, the tube won't slide off into the SH. All right. All right. Now all you got to do is put it in here. Unspin the old lid. Dip the tube down in. And let the potty begin. Okay, now, see these lids? They're up to about $16 each. Now I've lost a few of them off the back of my trailer. Whether it's because a customer distracted me or I'm just having a brain fart. Anyway, put them where they're not going to fly off your trailer. <laughs> At least if you get to put it on, you can... Oh, it's in my toolbox and save yourself 16 bucks. All right, we're going to start back here. SH all the way around the front, all the way down the side. Then we're going to rinse it all the way back around. Then the hoses will be cleared off over here and we'll get this driveway and the sidewalk. And we'll be done all right let's get after it but before we do let's have a look at this ho ho now that is dirty dirty we'll see how it comes out with some downstream and some pressure uh, we might have to put a little something stronger on that we'll see how this job goes okay now look at this mold on the side here see that this will be a good transition video. Then we'll go ahead and uh, get the front done and all the way down the other side and rinse on the way back. All right? Let's get after it. come around here where we started um, this has just got SH on it okay all that mold up there gone see all this over here this is just going to rinse right off it's been sitting there dwelling you know maybe 15 minutes or less driveway dwelling pretty good it come out good all this is all mold free look at that Okay, all this is going to sit here and dwell. We're going to blow all this stuff out of here. Get the uh, wash jet, knock the bees nest down. Then we're going to come around here and uh, get this side knocked off. Then we'll rinse our way back, do the driveway, and like I said, we'll be done with it. Okay, we'll do real time here in just a second. We'll be right back. All right, let's watch how this downstreaming just melts this off. See that black stuff up there? See it? like that all the way up we got a couple bees nests up there so we'll go ahead and do the wash jet too all right ready nice even coat on everything look at that you know what that is that soapy stuff right there 
Come on, you know what it is. Oh, gee, Tennessee. What is it? Some way, you know we only use one thing. Oh, that's right. We use sticky icky. And what's it smell like, Jumley? Oh, sometimes it smells like apples. It smells like apples all the time, Gummy. Oh, I guess you're right, boss. I do smell apples. Chumley is such a silly fool. Get back to work. Okay, boss. Boy, those two guys could be a character, can't they? That was a good cartoon growing up. Anyway, back to downstreaming. Look at that. Just a cartoon away from being clean, right? Just let it work. It's got some black mold there. Get the windows real good. Get the screen. There you go. Perfecto, eh? Alright. It's just that easy, right? those bees nests up there we'll be right back okay we're right back do you see the bees nests up there yeah what bees nest I don't see any bees nests do you BAM wash jet 0015 bay bay okay now it's 12 for Two minutes, everything's clean. Now all we gotta do is the satisfying rinse. <laughs> Let's clear the uh, line first. This is what happens when you switch to a uh, a rinse tip. Okay, watch the soap; it's gonna shut it off. Boom! It's off. This is a wide angle rinse tip. And the number on this is 1520. Nice wide tip. Look at the wide width. Okay. Works really good. It's like a soft wash, you know? It's just it's just getting it off of there. That's all you need. Alright, I'm done from Super Blast. And we need to get after it. See you on the flip side. Hey, 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 remember this? This was really bad, you know what I mean? Look at all these weeds here. You know how they have uh, fancy names for people, you know, like, uh, I'm a science engineer. Well, I'm a biologist. I'm a brain surgeon. Well, guess what? We're pressure washers, but you know, we can be called something. You know, look at that. I got a thing on the truck. Uh, it's called the turbo tip. So I guess I'm going to be a, a turbo engineer. I've always wanted to do a demonstration like this. Look at this. Hey, look at this stuff here. Uh -huh. All right, let's do a turbo tip demo, all right? I got some time today. Let's rock and roll, shall we? All right, let's get a demonstration here, all right? I think you can see that, right? And of course, always wear the safety glasses. Okay, when you start your uh, turbo tip up, always keep it down. Don't ever start it up like this. There's ceramic balls in there and they don't like to be started up backwards. Down, okay? All right, let's rock and roll.
How about that, huh? It's like a weed eater on steroids. Didn't even know there was a sidewalk there when I got here. All right, I'm Don from Superblast Pressure Washing. We need to get after this driveway. Let's get after that. I love it when you look down the road, you see a clean sidewalk that way. Dirty sidewalks over there. Look at that sidewalk over there. Woohoo! Dirty, dirty, dirty. This place is gonna be the cleanest one on the block. We got some uh, some weeds in the back. Some weeds there. Some more weeds along here. Gonna turbo tip this stuff up, then we'll be back. To the satisfying rooms and the treatment of this black mold you see this black mold right here when we come back you won't see anything here's my trailer tire where's that black mold we'll see you when we get back to the final review get after it all right let's get after the wrench shall we get after it nice walking down the nice clean sidewalk i love this neighborhood it's so clean hey man i wish somebody clean up the sidewalk you know it doesn't look real good <laughs> what a difference huh all right man the place came out splendid look at it it's got hair the tail i'm Don from super blast now we're gonna go tackle some fence easy work in and out really fast all right let's get after it all right another happy customer let's have one little last look at it it looks really good the front was all moldy and nasty when we got here this side over here was the worst it looks really good that side over here had you couldn't even see the sidewalk all right that's the best you can get it it's ready for a paint job all right, I'm done. Let's go get after this uh, vinyl fence, and then we'll call it a wrap for the day. Then we're going to have ourselves a drawing. I see a lot of people are leaving comments yesterday, so we're almost up to 100 qualified entries. Maybe there'll be a few more when we get back to the office, but we will do it today. Good luck to everybody, and uh, get after it. All right, here we are at job number two. That was supposed to be job number three. But anyway, we didn't do job number one. So number two became one and two became three. Gonna be doing this fence. It's got some green mold on it. This is the north side over here. Then we have uh, the inside. This kind of stuff right here. This will probably use the uh, pump up sprayer just in a couple spots. And then we're gonna be doing the inside here, huh? This is the worst part of it right here. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit all this and uh, do this inside first, then we'll rinse it off, go around and hit what's left over with the pump up sprayer and be done with this. All right, let's get after it.
right, let's have a look before the rinse, huh? This is basic downstream. Now we had some really rough stuff over here. See that? It's just dwelling away over there. So by the time we get back to this point, we're gonna walk this down here. We're gonna start rinsing from way down there. We'll rinse our way back, all the way back up. We'll rinse the outside out front there and whatever's left, we'll hit with the bug sprayer, the pump up sprayer. All right, all right, now for the exciting rinse. I'm just going to show you this one part okay this stuff was the real tough stuff when we first got here see that at the bottom okay look how clean the rest of it is beautiful just some tough stuff at the top here and here a little bit there and there okay and there's only a few spots back there all right we'll be back uh, after we're doing this other side and show you the finished result all right let's get after it all right let's have a quick look see those spots all cleaned up right there you have it. And this is the reason why. You know, this is taking probably a half hour to do this whole job. All right, I'm done from Super Blast. Now let's see this transition. You see how moldy the fence is right in this section here. Let's watch it disappear, shall we? Get after it. Let's take a look it's starting to fade away that stuff at the bottom is going to have to get hit with the chlorine sprayer over there so I'm what I'm going to do is hit that all along the bottom with the pump up sprayer I'm going to walk to the truck put it away reel that garden hose in water supply hose and that stuff will be all gone and ready for the rinse all right we'll be right back There you have it. Look at that fence, man. It's popping. Mold is gone. Everything at the bottom is gone. Another good day of washing, right? Uh, the only bad thing about today happened to the people that didn't get their house clean. And I haven't heard back from them. You imagine that? Do somebody a special favor. Uh, see, the story on that is they uh, had two jobs booked. Their father-in-law bought a pressure washer and washed the one that was 26 miles one way from here, which is a good thing. Uh, then I went to, they, they texted me and said, well, he already got that done, but can you keep ours on the list, please? I said, sure, I'll see you at nine o'clock on the same day. They said, okay. Well, as you saw this morning, three vehicles in the driveway, two dogs barking like mad. They just didn't come to the door. So if they were to call me back, I would double the price and that would deter them from hiring me because I don't really want to work for you. All right? There's too many good customers out here to worry about that. All right, I'm Don from Super Blast Pressure Washing. And this place is shiny. Get after it. And remember, we're having the drawing here coming up. Let's do it. And good luck to everybody. Okay, so I learned a lot about this proportioner today. Okay, you always run the water on full blast. Don't ever touch that unless you need to go beyond 6%, okay? This is the soap knob. You just add as, you know, your desired soap, whatever you want. So when you want a 6% mix, you crank the chlorine all the way up and the water up. That gives you a 6.25 mix. If you want it to be a 3% mix, just dial this baby on down to 50. 50%. That'll give you a 3% mix. And if you want half of that, just go half the distance, 25. What's that going to give you? It's going to give you a 1.5 mix, okay? 
All right. It's, it's fun learning stuff, you know? And this makes it so easy to operate. And then when you're done doing all that, you just go ahead and purge the whole system. This runs through the whole deal here. Cleans everything out. Everything comes out right there, and it's a regular boot wash after you're done. You can, you know, hey, man. <laughs> then we're going to put another uh, bypass hose right here. So then the water will just be able to rinse all this out, and I can keep it running for longer. It's okay to rinse it out, and it all rinses out right here while you have it purged. All right. I'm Don from Super Blast Pressure Washing. I've learned a lot, and I'm passing the knowledge on to somebody who doesn't know. All right? Everybody, thank you for being a loyal fan of Super Blast Pressure Washing. It means a lot to have a 1,000 people plus subscribe to your stuff. Uh, that feels good. Anyway, we're going to have the drawing tonight. You're going to win a gallon of stick, yeah, yeah, ha, ha. Then you're going to get a, uh, a sticker that says, Warning, don't touch my shit, man. And you're going to get a Super Blast pressure wash and get after it sticker. You're also going to get a t-shirt that says, Get after it. <laughs> and a very heavy-duty ball valve, the one I use every day of the week. Hey, 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 how's everybody doing? All right, the time has come. We're going to go ahead and have the drawing. Uh, it's taken a long time to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm over that now. And the next drawing will be when we get to 1,500. Uh, the prize will get bigger, bigger then. So we'll see what happens. But I got the, the trusty coffee can with all the numbers. Shook it up a little bit there. Been shaking it up all week. I've added a bunch of names here. We did have uh, 78 names or 79 names as of last week. Now we're up to 97 names, okay? I wish everybody the best of luck. And I wanted to thank everybody for being a subscriber and uh, being a supporter of, of the channel. It means a lot, you know? Hopefully I'm helping some people out by doing all this. I definitely enjoy doing it, so I've learned a lot from all of you, and hopefully some of you have learned something, uh, whether it's big or small, to help you out in your washing uh, career and business, all right? Anything else I can do to help, please do let me know. But now, let's have a little music, uh, just a little light background music here. Okay, here it goes. One more shake. And the winner is. Gotta mix it up some more. Number one. <laughs> What's the chance of pulling a number one out of the hat? My goodness. Who is number one? Jason Garrett has won. A gallon of sticky, icky apple scented surfactant. And uh, also a t shirt, a ball valve, a get after it sticker, and a warning don't touch my shit sticker. Hey man, thanks a lot everybody for playing. And we'll have another drawing uh, when we get to. Uh, 1500 subscribers uh jason garrett i'm gonna put my phone number in the comments today under uh description my phone number will be the last thing there go ahead and text me your address and i'll get your prize out in the mail for you man what size shirt you wear hopefully it's a large or an extra large that's all i got in stock right now i'll be getting some shirts bigger sizes printed down the road anyway Everybody, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And remember, always write a comment. And once you've won the prize once, number one, enjoy your prize. All right? Get after it!
Oh, guys, thank you for everything. Hey, and what do we do? We get after it. We get after it. Do you get after it? Always. What do you do? Get after it. At home, I Everybody gets it. after it. Hey, when he gets home, he gets after it. <laughs> hey, look at this dude up here. I bet he even gets after it. Mr. American. Get after it! Look at this guy, man. He's going to get after it! Get after it. It halts at a point forward. <laughs> It's an automatic. All right. Sounds like it's taking a crap. All right, well, here I am getting ready to vacate Ameritech. And what do we do here at Ameritech? Get after, Get after it. it. Get after it. Don here from Super Blast. My whole family gets after it. Even my dog gets after it. Watch this. Hey, Sam, sit down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Get after it. What do we do, hon? We all get after it. See that? Get after it.